Hi, this is Mary Carr, and I'm tickled Skippy that Barnes & Noble picked Lit as a recommended read for fall 2010. I just felt myself turning into my mother. I had a three-year-old kid I was trying to take care of, and I just couldn't stop drinking. was afraid of my whole life was that I would become my mother. I became the bad mom in the after school special, partly because I was drinking a lot of Jack Daniels. I'd always been able to stop before, you know, I was more of a binge drinker most of my life. And once I became a daily drinker, it just got dark. That was the moment when someone said, why don't you get on your knees every day for 30 days and try praying and see if your life gets better. And I had no belief, not a metaphysical bone in my body. And I had to just kind of act like I believe. You kind of go through the motions and you begin eventually to feel something. I'm a Christian because I need it. I need the help. One reason I did lit is I wanted to connect the dots between that heartache, that really horrible dark time. With Liars Club and Cherry, I was young enough that you could just say, oh, she was somebody else. And Liars Club, I can point to my hard drinking parents and Cherry, I can point to my own youth and drugs and alcohol. With Lit, it's pretty clear who the jerk is. I'm talking about me as a mom, me as a grown-up. Lit is my journey into awe. It's about growing up and becoming an adult when you had a less than perfect training. Coming out with a third memoir, you can kind of feel the red laser light of the rifle on your forehead. I wouldn't have made it getting up at five and going to a different city every day if I hadn't been able to talk to my readers. I feel like we're having a kind of conversation, not about my life, but about their lives. I mean, one of the great gifts of being on the road is people come up and tell me their stories. Since I've started praying, I don't yell at my toddler anymore. I knew I had a problem with alcohol, but because I'd never been arrested or lost a job, I felt like I, I was keeping it together. Or having somebody who says, you know, I don't believe in God, but I understand now how people believe in God, feeling like, I'm making some bridge between non-believers and believers so they're not just squared off in this, you're an idiot, you know, you're a godless bastard. To have people come up and say something you wrote, something you lived that was so hard for you and so hard for you to write, makes them feel something deep about what they lived. There are some miracles in this book.